there's none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. I give you praise for you are my righteousness. I worship you, O mighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O mighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what. Him. 
Hallelujah for today. He gave us new verses in the name of Jesus. Oh, I bless his name and I magnify him on today. There's no God like our God. No, not one. Praise God. Who, amen, could, who could understand us? Amen. Like our God. Who takes care of us? Like our God. Amen. We bless the Lord today. We thank you. Amen. We praise God for every ear that will hear the word, every eye that will see in the name of Jesus, every heart that will receive his word on today. Hallelujah. Well, good morning, Christ Church of Orm. Amen. And all of you that uh, the Lord has allowed to hear this word on today, there is always a word from the God. Amen. And I thank him for it. Hallelujah. Amen. And I bless the Lord. I, amen. Oh, my soul. And all this women then be blessed his holy name. Well, we're going to get into the word today. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. Oh, I feel this presence. Hallelujah. I feel this presence. People of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Amen. He's always with us. And I thank him for it. Oh, I thank him for his presence right now. Hallelujah. God is present. Mm. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. Hallelujah. If you would only receive him today. Amen. Let him do. Amen. What he's good at doing. Amen. And, amen. And God. Amen. Is a way maker. Hallelujah. And I thank you for he make a way when there is no way. He make a way out of no way. My God, my God. Oh, I just exhort him on today. And I encourage you, amen, hallelujah, to allow the Lord into your heart, into your life, amen, and into your mind. My God, to lead you and guide you. Praise God. Amen. The Bible said that his sheep hear his voice. And to hear y'all. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. You, you've got to listen. Amen. Listen. The Lord is speaking. Listen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. God has given you an ability to hear him. Oh, praise his God. Well, let's get into the word today. Amen. I am just so excited. Hallelujah, about the things that the Lord hath done. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody else can do it but God. And we thank Him for it. Well, let's get into the word from the book of Genesis on this morning. I got a few passages of scripture that I'd like to minister from on today. The first of those scriptures is Genesis chapter number 8. Amen. The verse number 20 to verse number 22. Amen. In the book of Genesis, praise God, hallelujah. The Bible says, and Noah uh, built an altar to the Lord and took of every beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savior. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I, I get again smite any more every living thing, everything living as I have done. While the earth remain, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Amen. Well, we bless the Lord for his word. Amen. On today. Amen. And what God is, is given. Amen. Something from his word. Amen. And I want to thank the Lord for his word on today. I want to use for a, a, a topic, a subject on today. Amen. It's seed time. Hallelujah. We're going through a lot, but I, I want to remind you that, amen, that it's seed time. The Bible declares that for, for everything, there, there's a season and there's a time and a season for everything. 
Hallelujah. We were just, I, I was just uh, uh, conversing, amen, about, we was just conversing about how cold it is, but, and then we reminded ourselves, well, we're used to it, amen. It reminded me again, we're, we're in wintertime here in upstate New York, amen. This is wintertime, hallelujah, amen. Uh, and, and, and as sure, amen, as the sun is shining brightly today, hallelujah, it will continue to get closer to us, and our season will change, amen, from winter to spring, hallelujah, and then from spring to summer, and from summer to autumn, praise God, and then the cycle will repeat itself, we'll get back into winter again. I want to talk to you about it's seed time. What time is it? It is seed time. Hallelujah. I, I want you to focus on that word. Amen. It is seed time. See, you can't get caught up in the cold. You can't, you can't get caught up on what is. Amen. Uh, you've got to learn how, amen, to look forward into where you where, where the purposes of God is pulling you to. My God, my God, it's seed time. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. In, in other words, y'all, God is pulling us into something that's greater than what we're in today. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says, amen, uh, 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 you know, after God had dealt with the, 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 the earth and the, and the earth was covered with water, God made a covenant with Noah. And that's what, what we're looking at. We're looking at God's covenant with Noah after the flood. Praise God. And after the flood, amen, one thing that happened, y'all, any time you go through any kind of experience, uh, hallelujah, you need to learn how uh, to give an, an offering to God, offer up to God, amen, because it could have been worse, but God brought you out, amen, and you're a living witness that whatever you came through did not take you under. My God, my God, hallelujah, amen. And so, so, so the Lord smelt his burnt offering. When you make an offering unto the Lord, amen, because your offering ought to come from your heart, amen. God can smell your offering, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. And, and that's what uh, God covenanted with Noah, amen, that the ground would not be cursed again. He covered with Noah, amen, uh, that, that, the, that the way he destroyed everything, it would never happen again. He wouldn't do it again. Amen. God said, I won't, I won't do this again. I don't care how bad you got. I don't care uh, uh, how, how terrible you are. Because one thing that God also knew that, that the, the, the imagination of man's heart, amen, is evil from his youth. Hallelujah. Amen. So God says, I, I, I understand you. I know, amen, that, that you're an Eva from your youth up. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and so God said that, ah, God, God, God said, I will not destroy, amen, like I did this time. I'm not going to do it. Amen. And then God gave a, a, another promise, y'all, that you need to hold on to it. And, I, I, and, and the Lord had me discover this, y'all. Amen. What the the Bible says the covenant statement is, is while the earth remains. In other words, as long as there's the earth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. And I, I, I like the way that God uh, put one against the other. Amen. So God showed us two extremes uh, of situations. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, God showed us, amen, the opposite of winter is summer. The opposite of, oh God, the opposite of summer is winter. But I want you to know that, that God accented on the positive. And he always put the, the, the positive first because he said seed time and then he said harvest. He said coal and then he said uh, heat. He said, uh, my God, God said summer, and then he said when? He said day, and then he said night. They're, 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 they're opposing to one another. Hallelujah. Amen. See, and so don't expect good in your life. My God, my God. And unless you have to experience some evil, some bad in your life. But understand something, y'all. Amen. The, the evil would not last forever. Amen. Because good would eventually take it over. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. What am I saying? I'm saying whatever situation you're in is not eternal. Amen. It's going to change. What we deal with y'all is seasonal. Hallelujah. It's seasonal. Oh, praise God. And that's why I, amen, I, I use the subject, it's seed time. In other words, y'all, it's time for you to, amen, to plant seed. Oh, praise God. It's seed time. Hallelujah. A lot of folks want to look at the harvest, but in order to have a harvest, you got to have seed. they got to be seed time. And, and I notice that people like the good, but they don't necessarily like the bad. But the Bible has declared, amen, uh, to us that everything that we go through, amen, if we endure, amen, hardness uh, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, because y'all, uh, 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 you know, uh, Temptation, you know, work in patience and patience endures and do it whole. So these things work in us, uh, amen, something greater than what we're in. And so whatever your struggle is today, I want you to understand that God is working something in you to bring out something greater that you are. Hallelujah. That God is able to see. Oh, praise God. I don't need you to die where you are, but I want you to understand, amen, that there is a resurrection. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And so as we deal with this, y'all, oh, praise God, God said that these particular enemies, uh, amen, would not cease, amen. In other words, y'all, uh, 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 daytime is going to come, hallelujah. Don't, it matters not how, how, how dark the night is, daytime will come. It matters not how cold we are here in the winter, summertime is coming. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And with the winter, there is cold. But with the summer, there is heat. Ah, oh, praise God. Amen. And then the Bible talked about seed time. And so I hope that, that you're in the process, hallelujah, of sowing seed. Amen. It is seed time. How, why, why seed time? Yo, because you cannot look forward to a harvest until you have first, amen, planted some seeds. And I'm calling on you today, amen, to plant seeds, amen, plant seeds, amen, plant seeds, hallelujah. I'm calling you today to do what? To plant seeds, hallelujah, amen, because if you desire a harvest, uh, you must sow a seed. See, because a lot of times, uh, amen, people are looking for a harvest, but they have not planted in the seed. Oh, praise God. Amen. And you got to plant some seeds if you're looking for a harvest. Now, go with me to the book of Galatians. Amen. Galatians chapter number 6 and verse number 7. Amen. It'll give us some more truth here. Amen. To deal with in this seed time uh, season. Galatians 6 and 7. The Bible says, amen. Uh, the Bible says, do not. Do not, do not, do not. In other words, don't be here. Don't go here. Do not be deceived. Amen. Do not be deceived. Amen. God is not marked for what so whatever a man sow, that he will also reap. Amen. So so don't be deceived, y'all. If you if the stuff is coming up in your life, it's because you planted some seeds. If nothing is coming up in your life, it's because you didn't plant any seeds. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot say that you're blessed and highly favored of God. Amen. Unless there's seeds that's coming up in your life. And the seeds is a result of what you planted. Oh, praise God. See, many times we want God to do stuff, but then God has called us to do stuff, y'all. Oh, praise God. Amen. And you need to do what you need to do. Amen. For the Bible, look, look at the rest of this. What the Bible said, for he who sows to his flesh. So you see the song. He who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. So, amen, in this seed time, my question is, where are you sowing your seed? To what are you sowing your seed? Oh, praise God. Amen. Where and to what are you sowing your seed? For 
the Bible declares, if you sow your seeds uh, to the flesh, that is to the temporal, that is to the things that you see, amen, that stuff will perish. Everything you see, y'all, will perish. Everything that you see, it doesn't, amen, will not last forever, amen. But God said, if you sow to the spirit, hallelujah, amen. Uh, see, understand, amen, us as being uh, not only natural man and woman, but we also spirit man and woman. And what I'm talking to you about today, amen, is whatever in your life that you need to sow in the realm of the spirit, not in the realm of the flesh. Hallelujah. When you sow in the realm of the spirit, y'all, amen, God says then you will be reaping eternal life. That's why Jesus said, amen, if you're going to cast up treasure Amen. Don't put them on earth where moth and rust, amen, does happen and where thieves, uh, thieves break in. But rather, so, amen, so in heaven where neither moth nor rust nor thieves break in. In other words, what, what Jesus was saying, you need to sow to the spirit, amen, and not to the flesh, amen. And then the Bible said when you do that, then don't, don't grow weary. Don't, don't start asking God, God, where are you, God? That goes back to other birth. Amen. When are talking about mocking God. Don't mock God. Amen. God, where are you? No, God is where he always was, and God would do what he always said. See, understand that God is faithful to his word. Hallelujah. Amen. And so don't, don't get weary. Amen. Uh, because you so seeds. Uh, amen. And they have not. Amen. Has not produced a harvest. Understand that when you sow seed, there's a time lag before the harvest. Amen. Amen. There's a time lag before the harvest. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There's a time lag before the harvest. What, 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 what are you saying? Amen. The Bible says, amen. Let, 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 let me give you another scripture. Let's go over the, the book of James. Now, you all need to be deceived. Praise God, because God said, whatever you sow, whatever you sow. So you need to look at what, 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 what kind of seeds am I sowing? <coughs> amen. What kind of seeds am I sowing? So look at James, uh, amen, the book of James. Uh, oh, praise God. James, 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 amen. James, uh, chapter number 5 and verse number 7, James 5. And verse number seven, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says this. It says, therefore, be patient. When you when, when you sow seeds, you got to you got to learn how to be patient. Amen. Be patient, brother, until the coming of the Lord. See, and then he gives you an example. See how the farmer waits. The farmer does what? He waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and latter rain. Amen. Because he knows that once he sows the seed, amen, rain for the seed to develop, rain has to come. My God, my God. The rain has to seed y'all to decompose and rot. But I, my God, out of that, uh, that death state of that seed, y'all, amen, there in rises a plant that will produce a harvest. He says, so you also be patient. Amen. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord is at hand. So it's seed time, y'all. Amen. You need to learn how to sow seed. You need to learn how to be patient. You need to learn how to establish your heart what? for the coming of the Lord. Where? It's at hand. You know, it's nearby. Oh, praise God. Amen. And so why am I so thing? Because I know, amen, that the Lord's coming is at hand. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, the Lord's coming is at hand. So what am I looking for? I'm looking forward to the coming of the Lord. Oh, praise God. I'm looking for the coming of the Lord. Amen. And because I'm looking for the coming of the Lord, then I am planting, uh, I am sowing seeds. Hallelujah. I'm sowing seeds, y'all. Break my voice shaking the air, tell you. I am sowing seeds, y'all. And I expect a harvest.
is because I sow seeds. Now, listen, that, that, uh, oh God, the, the laws of sowing and reaping, y'all, are universal. My God, hallelujah, amen. They're universal, and I don't care who you are, amen. If you're blind by those laws and principles of sowing, y'all, you get a harvest. Oh, praise God, amen. Uh, we, we do a garden, amen. Here at the church, they do a garden, hallelujah, amen. When we sow seeds, amen, we sow seeds, hallelujah, amen. And the people can testify of the harvest from those particular seeds, amen. Seeds is song and we get it we get a harvest hallelujah amen uh, and, and we can't expect amen a harvest amen in in the summer and in the fall unless we sow seeds now to sow the seeds y'all there's a process got to take place to sow the seeds amen Praise God. Amen. We got to make sure the ground, amen, is conducive to receive the seed. My God, my God. Amen. When, when you get the ground conducive to receive the seed, amen, then you the, the process of waiting takes place. You can't go out the next day and expect a harvest. Hallelujah. Because we understand that the, 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 the former and latter rain has to come. Amen. Amen. And give with the seed while it's in the earth. And many times, uh, people of God, amen, we, we, we're not looking for the rain. Hallelujah. We sow the seed and we, we just look for the harvest. But then don't understand the process that has to take place. Amen. Uh, to, to get a harvest, number one, you've got to plant a seed. Here at Christ Church every year, amen, we do a first fruit offering. Hallelujah. We've been doing this for years. We sow a first fruit offering. Amen. And what, what is that first fruit offering? Oh, that first fruit offering is a seed, y'all. Amen. And we believe by sowing that seed, hallelujah, that we will get a harvest. Oh, God. And God has never failed me personally. Amen. In sowing, amen, that first fruit seed. I've always got the harvest. God has, amen, did above and abundantly and beyond, amen, my greatest dreams and imagination. Why? Because I sowed the seed. And on that point right there, if you're benefited and blessed by this word, you should sow a seed into this ministry, my God, so that you can receive the harvest, amen, and so that others might receive a harvest. Oh, praise God. Amen. Listen to what Jesus says. Let's go again to the word of God. In the book of John, John chapter number 12, the gospel of John, hallelujah, chapter number 12, uh, go with me, be patient, verse number 25, hallelujah. Jesus is dealing with some people. Oh, praise God. Amen. And listen to what Jesus said. Amen. Uh, well, um, let, let, let me, you know, let me go back up to give you some sense of what I'm reading. Amen. And let me give that verse number 20. Amen. Because, see, we're looking for fruit from our lives. And God looks for fruit from our lives. But, y'all, you, you've got to plant seeds. Amen. So what kind of seeds are you planting? He says now in verse 20, now there were certain Greeks among those who came up to worship at the feast. And then they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sirs, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn, Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus asked them, saying, that the hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Amen. And he said, most assuredly, I say unto you, because he, uh, the, the, for, for the Jesus to be glorified, Jesus understand the seed. And, and, amen. The, the, the harvest. Amen. He understand the seed had to be planted. Amen. And for him to be glorified, he was the seed. Amen. He had to be planted. So he said, most assuredly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. In other words, what Jesus said, they were looking for Jesus, but Jesus understood that the, 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 the the time for him, y'all, amen, was to be the seed. My God, my God. You know what they said, I tell you. You got to understand, amen, as he pleased that said, there's a time and there's a season for everything. What I'm saying to you today, amen, it's a time for seed time. Amen. It's a time, amen, for us to sow seeds, amen. 
Praise God. And so Jesus says, amen, he said, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, if it dies, my God, it produces much grain. So what I'm saying, you've got to be able to release your seed. When you release your seed, the process that will happen, y'all, the seed will die. In other words, whatever it is, y'all, it needs to be dead to you. Hallelujah. When it dies, my God, then it's able, amen, to be resurrected and give you a harvest back. But when you constantly, amen, the problem with most people, they hold on to the seed. My God, my God, you can't expect a harvest holding on to the seed. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hey, yeah, 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 God. And listen to what the Bible said. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it, amen, for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. So what what I say? What Jesus is teaching to us, amen, is how to be a seed. You cannot be a blessing, amen, until you understand what it is to be a seed. What time is it? It is seed time. Hallelujah. Amen. There, there are things in our life that we need to sow. There are things, y'all, hallelujah, that we need to plant. There are things that we need to die to. It is seed time. Amen. Oh, God. It is seed time. Unless you're willing to let it go, my God, then you're not willing to receive, hallelujah, the effects of what you let go. My God, that's why Jesus said, amen, if anyone serves me, if you're a servant of Jesus, hallelujah, as the Greeks came to see Jesus, praise God, people are coming and looking for God. Mm. Jesus says that if the Son of Man needs to be glorified, our lives need to be glorified. God needs to get glory out of our lives. But to get glory out of our life, we got to sow our lives. We got to sow our lives. Hallelujah. And if death got to come to us in many different aspects. It needs to come. Praise God. Amen. And you need to say to yourself, I'm no longer my own. I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. It is no longer my will. Amen. But whatever his will is. When you do that, y'all. Then you'll die to some stuff. You will sow yourself, praise God, into some stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. And you give yourself to away to the Lord. So now the Lord, amen, is able to resurrect you because your life is not on its own. It's not great enough, amen, to give to the world what the Lord wants you to give. So you need to go through that process, amen, that death state, which something, amen, when seed time, amen, and the seed, Jesus said, got to die. If it don't die, amen, it will remain alone. The, the oh God, amen, the power and the potential of you and I as children of, uh, of God is that we need to die. Hallelujah. If you don't die, then what you're doing, you're doing it by yourself. You need to die to you. You need to die to your stuff. You need to die to I. Hallelujah. So Christ can be resurrected in your life. Amen. The greatest uh, part of the hearts will come when the people of God, amen, die to self. When they die to their, their wants, when they die to their ism, amen. When they die to that, amen, then God can raise you up. When you die to your, your flesh, when you die to your stubbornness, my God, when you die to your self-will, then God can raise you up. Hallelujah. So you be a blessing. So you be a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to move toward the close of this word. Amen. It's seed time. Hallelujah. It is seed time. Don't always look for the harvest. My God. Amen. Learn how to plant seeds. Oh, praise God. Learn how to plant seeds. Amen. Learn how to plant seeds. Look with me. Amen. In the book of Hosea, chapter number 10. 
The book of Hosea, chapter number 10, and then verse number 12. As the, as the Lord dealt with, with Israel, the, his own people, praise God, hallelujah, amen, and, and because of their, their sin and, and the stuff that they had done, hallelujah, listen to what he said, because these things are written for our admonition, amen, for our learning. Verse number 12, he told them, he says, so for yourself righteousness. It's seed time. So, who am I going to You got some right? Show it. Amen. Show your right relationship. Amen. Show your prayers. Hallelujah. Show your care. Show your turn. He said, show for yourself what? Righteousness. Amen. Show righteousness. There's a whole, in seed time, people of God, there's a lot of things that can be sown. Not just finances. Not just money. Amen. There are other things you have. Can be so. so the Bible said, so for yourselves righteousness. And then you will reap. What's the harvest? Well, you will reap in mercy. Because the seed that you sow does not look like, amen, the harvest that it will produce. Oh God. Hallelujah. You sow righteousness. You reap mercy. And then the Bible said, to get to that point, y'all, you need to break up your fallow ground. So to see the ground got to be conducive to the seed. It can't be hard. Amen. The ground need to be able to take in and drink in water. Oh, praise God. Why? For it is time. It's time. To seek the Lord till he come and raise righteousness on you. It's time, y'all. What time? It is seed time. And in seed time, we seek God. In seed time, y'all. Why? Because we need him to reign righteousness. We, we need to uh, seek him, y'all, so that God will reign, Lord, in our, in our life. Reign in our reign on the stuff that we've saw. Reign, God, on my finances. Reign, Lord, on my health. Reign, oh God, on my relationship. I need God. I need the, amen, the former and the latter reign. Amen. Because those are seeds that I've sown. Amen. I've sown seeds, y'all. My God. Seeds to bless people. Seeds to help people. My God. Seeds that my life will be glorified to the Father. Yes. If you sow, you will reap. Amen. If you sow, you will reap. Praise God. And it's time to seek the Lord. That is not qualified, y'all, by your position. Anyone can seek God. Praise God. Anyone can seek God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you seek God, you will read. It is seed time. So righteousness. Amen. So love. So peace. Don't so hate. Praise God. And then he said, verse 13 of this uh, book, he said, you have plowed wickedness. You have reaped iniquity. So God showed them. Come on. Then when, when, when you do stuff, the reason why they is plowed wickedness, because they had so wickedness. Amen. And they reaped iniquity. He said, you have eaten the fruit of lies. My God. Because remember what the Bible said. Be not deceived. God does not mock whatsoever a man saw that shall he also read. Because you trusted in your own way in the multitude of your mighty man. My God. See, when you listen, people of God, you, you got the soak of God. Amen. You, you, you cannot trust in man. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't be surprised. You're, you're seeing in played out in our country. The results of lies being sown. Mm. Because lies were sown. Uh, uh, God. God would not be mocked, y'all. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God, will, there, 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 there is things that's going to come up and happen because of the seeds that were sown. Oh, come on, people. Amen. I'm not against this one or that one, y'all. But when you sow seeds, come on, you're you going to get a harvest. And what people are trying to say now, they, 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 they want you to not to recognize the harvest. No, they sowed the seed. And so the harvest is up. Oh, praise God. Amen. The harvest is up. And the Bible speaks of one in one occasion where Jesus was dealing. And, and, and the disciples said, Lord, to Master, when they woke up the next day, they see a lot of stuff growing up. They say, Master, we didn't sow that. We didn't sow the tears. This coming up. So, so you want us to go and rip them up? The Lord said, no. An enemy did this. So if you didn't sow this stuff in your life, if the enemy did it, then you've got to trust in God. That God will root it out, y'all. God says there's a time coming. A day of reckoning, they can for shit. He'll send the angels in. My God, the first, amen, the first, amen, get the good stuff. And the rest of the stuff will be put in the fire. The rest of the stuff will be burned. What time is it? It's seeds of time. What are you sowing? Oh, praise God. What are you sowing? I should accept the question. What am I sowing? This is 2021. What am I sowing? Amen. In this time, what am I saw? Am I saw negativity? Hmm. Am I saw goodness? Am I saw righteousness? Am I saw favor? Hallelujah. Amen. Am I saw my way? Or am I saw God's way? Am I leading people, amen, to the rock that's higher than I? Or am I leading them to, to the vaccination? Where am I leading them to? I need to let you know that my hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' word, his blood, his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. What time is it? It is seed time. It is seed time. God is calling you and God is calling me to sow. Sow into his work. Sow into his ministry. Sow into goodness. Sow into kindness. Hallelujah. Sow into righteousness. God is calling you and I to sow. Are you sowing today? Hallelujah. Are you sowing today? Are you sowing into the word? Are you sowing into lives of people? Are you sowing today? Are you a hoarder? They're hoarding all the seed. You will never get the harvest if you become a hoarder. you got to learn how to release it. Praise God. And Jesus said when you release it, it got to die. In other words, it, it, the, the relationship to you, you got to let go of the relationship to you. It's only then can God use it. My God, hallelujah. Father, I want to thank you today for your word. I want to thank you for your people. I want to thank you, God, that you allowed us today, my God, to share your word, oh God, and to give your people your word. It is seed time, Lord. Help them to receive it, God. Mm. They're looking for a harvest, but God, help them, them, Lord. This is a time of sowing seed in the name of Jesus. And, and whatever the seed they need to show, Lord, so, Lord, my, my God, reveal it to them. Hallelujah. Let them know that they need to sow it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, so that you can bless it and so that they can get a harvest. I give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we bless the Lord for his help and blessing today. Praise God. Amen. And Lord's will, we'll see you. Amen. Uh, on next Sunday, uh, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So y'all be blessed. Amen. As we go on today in Jesus' name.